I used to play uh, Taekwondo 20, 25 years ago and uh, I stopped just before coming to Australia um, and I used to practice in the home a little bit. Uh, we decided that Anthony needs uh, physical activity so initially we put him into soccer uh, for a couple of years. I was his coach. Um, in soccer the intention was that he learns teamwork because without one working with the other teams he couldn't score a goal. Uh, after two years we thought it's time for him to start working maybe in Taekwondo, so it works on himself, on his individual skills and that's why we put him. His cousin actually started before Anthony. Anthony came, he liked it, we spoke about it, he wanted to do it and he joined. Once uh, we put him after his cousin, Anthony started practicing for about uh, six months and then he started uh, uh, slacking off a little bit. That's where I thought uh, after sitting on the sides for six, seven months, it's time for me to step in. <laughs> and I think that was the right decision that made Anthony push harder. <laughs> um, yes, when we're here, sometimes at home, we try to, we tend to resolve things more by uh, doing a, a sparring without hitting each other uh, or blocking. Uh, yes, it brings us together. It's good actually to spend more time with Anthony. Um, I think I've, I've seen Anthony's confidence shot up since we started. Uh, I felt that he's gained not just self-confidence in doing the Taekwondo, but also self-confidence in his character. He's much more outgoing now. He's much more able to, willing to actually state what he wants and deliver that and so on. He sometimes put his point of view forcefully and uh, it's good. That's what we would like of Anthony and his character. Um, that's what we need to do in the whole of community. So if you work on an individual, it's later on a reflection to the community and it spreads around. Uh, martial arts is one way not only to learn how to defend yourself uh, as a young uh, boy growing or later on in life, but also it provides the confidence, the focus, the commitment and uh, the hard work you need to do to be able to progress. It's a future investment. Uh, you're putting the effort now, you're putting the time now, not only for your kids, but if you participate, if you join with your kids, take an uh, uh, active role with your kids, that is an investment for the future, for their health, for their education, for their personality, it's an investment in your health later on. So once you reach the 60s, the 70s, you still have the shape, the form, uh, the ability to move around and less uh, reliance on medical or on uh, care centers and so on. It's a great opportunity. Uh, I would recommend everyone will should take part with their family to join uh, martial arts. Sometimes they do something that I'm good and sometimes they teach me how to defend myself and learn new things. I can feel like I can protect myself now Dad is teaching me, um, teaching myself the, the instruction, the instructors are teaching me, so I get a lot of help.